Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're gonna have to excuse my wet hair. We are making some videos today and my hair is still wet. But I wanted to share with you guys, we're gonna take this all the way back to the month of June. I wanted to share with you guys the books that I had read in June. I read seven books in the month of June. They are all Colleen Hoover books because I am trying to read all her books. Um, I think I'm at 12 of her books so far. Um, I've read some other ones since then because I kind of ran out of some of her books. I didn't have any more, so I was reading some different ones. Um, love her books. I honestly have loved every single one of her books. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews and stuff, but I love them. But guys, I have been making a lot of like my book content on my TikTok. If you guys want to follow me there, it's just the Jones fam on TikTok. But I really wanted to make a lot of videos here because I can talk more about the books. I know it might not be everybody's favorite thing and it's not going to be what my whole channel consists of, but it's going to be like a big thing on my channel because I love reading and it's just the era that I'm in right now. So I want to take this back to June. I was going to make a video of what I read in July, but I read some really great books in June that I kind of wanted to briefly talk about. So we are going to start, I'm going to start at the very first one that I read in July, which was Colleen Hoover's book, November 9th. This book, guys, so I have on my TikTok, I rated all the Colleen Hoover books that I've read so far, all 12. Um, this book I would put somewhere in the middle. I saw so many people say, like, put this at the top of the list. Now, I loved this book. I loved the way it was wrote. I thought it was super creative. I personally have never yet to read something similar to this. Um, it just, I wouldn't say it's one of my top, top favorites of hers. I have a lot of other ones that I like more, but I would put this towards the middle to the top. If you guys have not read November 9th, I highly recommend it. This book, you think you're getting into like a love story. It takes you through all the emotions, happiness, sadness, like it's thrilling. It is such a good book. I, I recommend this to everyone because it is just such a story. And there's things in the story that I think could relate to a lot of people. So definitely recommend November 9th. I still would give this. I should probably tell you guys like what stars I give this. I, I would still give this book five stars. I would. I would just say of some of her books, it wouldn't be my like top two or my top three. It would kind of be in the middle to, towards the top. So I highly recommend November 9th. Definitely pick this up if you haven't read it. Okay, guys, I slipped away for a second and put my jewelry on. I realized when I got out of the shower, I never put my rings on or my earrings on. So I was like, wait, I don't have my wedding band on. So I went and did that. Okay, so after November 9th, I jumped into the Maybe Someday series. Have you guys read the Maybe Someday series? This was another one on TikTok I had. I feel like I saw a lot more good reviews for November 9th and a lot more like all over the place reviews about the Maybe um, Someday series. I saw some people say that it was hard to read and it was kind of slow. Um, I saw some people say that it was their absolute favorite series, like their favorite books, like the Maybe Someday book. So I was like interested to see where this like laid for me. I got actually found Maybe Someday at a yard sale for a dollar. So that was a score. And then I purchased these at Barnes and Noble. So I was really excited to start this. One, because if you love and fall in love with the characters and the, and the dynamic, you really want so much more of the story. So I was excited it was like a three-part story. So let's start with Maybe Someday. I would say out of all of these, Maybe Someday would probably be my least favorite of the three. Um, just because like it takes a while to get where the story's going. Like it's moving kind of slow. The characters don't really leave the apartment. Um, there's definitely like some questionable things that happen through the book. I absolutely love Sydney and Ridge uh, throughout the story. There's definitely some like twists in this book. It really grabs you from the beginning, I'll say. I loved the friends dynamic in this. This was such a good book of like 
friendship. Like it was friends living in this apartment together. Um, I loved the friendship aspect aspect of it. Like you wanted to be in their friend group, but I just felt like it didn't grab, it didn't keep me like it grabbed me at the beginning, but didn't keep me all through the book. So I liked this book a lot. I would give it probably like a four star. I still say read this series because I think it's a great series. I think too in a lot of Colleen Hoover books, I just like really take something from the story or there's a character that like something about them like I can relate to really easily. So there's always like lasting things from the story that make me feel a little bit different and a little bit changed when I read it. I would definitely recommend this. It would be more at the bottom bottom though of my favorite books of hers but it's still really good then the one that goes in between them is maybe not this is a novella now this spins off with the characters Bridget and Warren was his name yeah um two of the roommates now the one thing I didn't understand at the end of this book like to me I thought I was supposed to read it in the middle and I think you should I think you should read maybe um someday first and then this second but at the end it starts telling you like it gives you the first chapter of maybe someday so like you could read this first and then it gives you a teaser of maybe someday but if you hadn't read maybe someday this book wouldn't make sense so that was a little confusing about it now this was a short book I read this in a day um it's just a novella it's like a little over a hundred pages I loved this story I've seen some people say like it wasn't their favorite I loved learning more about Warren and Bridget I think Warren was a super funny character I love guys in books that are just not super serious and they're just funny um I think that like I think that's really a cool thing in a lot of books but I loved this I would definitely put this like when I got done with this I wish I could have read it for the first time again so I would put this one up higher than maybe someday it was a lot higher on my favorites list now, the last one of the series is Maybe Now. This was the longest book of the series. So I feel like the same with this book. I almost feel like this book didn't, like you wanted to know more about what happened with Maggie, what happened with um, Sydney and Ridge and Warren and Bridget. Like you wanted to know more, but I felt like a little bit this book dragged on. Like it didn't have to be as long as it was. Um, they talk about some really serious, like real topics, but I just, I felt like a little bit towards the end, I mean, towards the middle, sorry, like it was kind of slow. Like they're just, it wasn't like grabbing me. I still think that I liked this one more than maybe someday because we got to see everybody's ending that I felt like they all deserved. Um, I loved the characters, but I loved the friend group again. I just felt like this book didn't need to be so long. So I can't remember exactly where I put this on my list of favorites. This would probably be towards the middle to the end, though, because even though I loved this book, I have to say it's not there's there's some Colleen Hoover books that like I think of frequently, like I still will be like driving in my car and think of it. I don't think about these characters. I don't think other than like Ridge, I don't really feel like they gave a lot of depth to the character. Like Colleen didn't give a ton of depth to the characters. Sorry guys, I was helping my son with something. So yeah, I just, I can't remember where I lost my train of thought, but I would not say this is one of my favorite books, but it's also like not one of my least. Honestly, like with Colleen, it's hard because like I can't say that any of her books like are my least favorite because I liked them all. It's just if I had to put them from my absolute favorite to my least favorite, this would, the Maybe Someday series would be more towards the end. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I read it. I feel like I took a lot from it. Just wasn't my favorite. Okay, next one I read was Heartbones. I loved this one. I feel like this is one of her books that I didn't see as much like talk about. Um, I didn't see as many reviews about or people kind of including it at their top favorites. This one would be more towards the top of my favorites. I loved this one. They're there definitely, there was a turn in this book, like you knew something was going to happen, but I don't think you expected what happened. Um, it definitely went from like 
a lot of trauma. The book starts off very dark. It definitely has quite a bit of trigger warnings. Um, but I just, I wasn't expecting the turn of events that happened with this book. I uh, loved the characters. Love, um, what was her name again? Bea. I knew it was something different. I couldn't remember. Um, I love her name, Bea. I thought this was a really cute book. Highly recommend this. If you're looking for a summer read, it takes place at the beach, um, at a beach house. So it's very fitting for summer. But it's not just your typical like romance book. It's going to be like a little bit of a thriller too mixed in because the twist is not what you're expecting. So I would put this more towards the top of my favorites. Uh, I didn't see as many people say that I feel like a lot of people haven't read this book of hers. I loved this. I also think I love reading Colleen Hoover's books and seeing the covers and then finding out what the cover symbolizes when I'm done with the book. So I loved the pinwheel on the cover of this. Next one was Regretting You. So this is a mother and daughter book, but it has like spinoffs of like their separate love stories. I loved this book. I would put this more towards the top of my favorites. The two book boyfriends, the one book boyfriend of the mom, the one of the daughter, um, Miller, and what was the other guy? Um, I cannot remember because it's been like a month since I've read these and I've read some other books. Jonah. Jonah and Miller are the best book boyfriends. Like they were so not toxic. They were great at communicating. I loved them in this book. Loved the mother and daughter aspect of this book. Um, definitely is a kind of a tough read at different points. Like it is kind of sad throughout the book. It is a sad story, but mixed in with watching them heal, watching them find themselves, the two book boyfriends that are just great in this book. I highly recommend reading Regretting You. This is another one along with Heartbones that I feel like I just don't see people talk about or rate that much. This one was a score. I would definitely put it towards the top. I've never read a book like this one either. I also love in Colleen's books how most of them are a dual point of vision book. Absolutely love that. You can see how multiple people are thinking throughout the book. So love this mother-daughter story. Okay, last book I read in the month of June was Colleen Hoover's book, Too Late. Um, this one is another one that I have not seen as many people talk about or rate. Um, I've seen some people put this way towards the end and say that it's not their favorite or on the totally different end and people say it's one of their favorites. So this I would kind of say is a dark romance. This is honestly one of the darkest books that I've read from Colleen. Um, like all of them have some dark subjects with them, some trauma. This one, though, stays dark from beginning to end. Um, there is some definitely trigger warnings. I would read the trigger warnings before you pick up this book. It is a heavy read, but I really liked this book. Um, it just, it kept you on your toes the entire story. I don't think this is one that I would ever pick up to read again. Like Colleen Hoover's book, Reminders of Him, or It Ends With Us, It Starts With Us. Um, those books, Ugly Love, I would read those books again. This book, I don't think I would pick up to read again, but I did like this. I would say it was kind of in the middle for me. I'm um, talking about Ugly Love though. I wanted to make a point about November 9th. If you are like me and you are trying to read Colleen's books, I will tell you her books will pull you out of a reading slump and they will pull you out of a book hangover. Normally they grab you from the beginning. Before you read November 9th, read Ugly Love. One of my friends told me this and I'm so glad she did because I would have missed it. There, the characters from Ugly Love make an appearance in November 9th. It is not essential that you read them that way, but it does help because it's really cool to see the characters again and interesting how they like come about in November 9th. So read Ugly Love before you read November 9th. So guys, that is what I read in June. Let me know if you've read some of these Colleen Hoover books and what you thought. Um, definitely check me out on TikTok of where I rated all of the books. I may do that on my YouTube channel just so I could talk because on TikTok, I only have like a 10 minute like window and there's just a lot of things I wanted to say about them. So thank you guys so much for watching.
Also, let me know what other Colleen Hoover books are your favorites and what I should read next.